What's up everybody, this is Harry and I want to show you the fifth step in my process of making a dome and using aircrete as the insulator. So this entire project has been just to test the idea of using aircrete as an insulator and applying the aircrete in this fashion. So What's been done many times before, our air forms have been inflated and concrete structures have been applied to it. And um, what hasn't been done is aircrete being used as an insulator and applied in this fashion. So I have three ideas for applying aircrete. So this was the first and I built this entire dome just to test my idea that I'm up to right now and that is of putting a second air form over the entire first structure bolting it to the ground and filling in the cavity with aircrete now the reason for the fabric <clears throat> is to retain the aircrete otherwise there's no way the aircrete would stay to the wall because it has a high flow rate it flows like water so you'd pour it on and it just flow away. So you need to contain the aircrete inside of that uh, space. So what I've done here, and again, this dome was meant to be temporary. So I made it uh, a thin shell. It's maybe uh, maybe an inch thick is uh, in some spots, a quarter inch in others. If this were going to be permanent, I would have made it a half inch to two inches thick. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, one and a half inches to two inches thick. So what I did here was I created these spacers using uh, plastics, plastic cups as uh, molds. And so the spacer here has been put all the way around the dome and all the way above it. And it's just to keep the gap between the air form and the wall here without these uh the air form would slump to one side and one side would be a foot thick the other side would be a quarter inch thick so in order to keep that uh cavity equal all the way around i put the spacers all the way around so once i finish pulling the air form over it i'll have an even gap and this entire space will be filled in with uh, air creep and uh, that was the main idea I had for applying aircrete with this method. And this fabric would be uh, folded up and there's a bar that would go here and screws would go through it and this would get bolted to the ground. And so that's what I've been working on with this structure. So the other idea I have after I finish with this one and which is why I may need uh, everyone's help who's watching this or someone's help because I like to build a second dome very soon using the second method which would be to inflate the first air form bolt the second one down and just fill in the cavity with aircrete and the entire structure uh, I'm, I believe should be able to be done in and one pour in one day because uh, it's eight feet high and the foam bubbles in the air crete begin collapsing around that height depending on the uh, foam solution you're using so um, uh, that's what I have in mind for the second dome idea and the third actually involves creating another um, concrete dome similar to this and uh, making aircrete bricks and just applying the bricks all the way around so I'd make you know an eight inch thick brick whatever height and width and um, apply it all the way around as another method for applying aircrete as an insulator to a structural concrete dome uh, because I just feel so far that this is the best way to build it because of the strength. Uh, but since I've done some experiments with the aircrete, 
um, which are here since I did a bunch of these experiments with uh, with different ratios of foam added to a particular uh, cement sand mix and I was able to see how much uh, more stronger and how much more brittle they become based on adding uh, a difference of one to two pounds of foam so learning that um, I'm ready to do an air form uh, a two air forms like I just explained using just aircrete as the insulator and the structural uh, cement so that'll be the next experiment when I'm done with this so if you're interested in having something done on your property uh, having a dome put up on your property on the East Coast I'm in New York City area um, also if you're interested in taking part of this whole experiment just write to me on uh, on my YouTube channel here and I'll get back to you uh, again um, I'm figuring this will be done probably by the end of uh, the week this week and um, I'll be ready to move on to the next project uh, this again is a temporary structure I built here for the sole purpose of testing my idea of using the aircrete as an insulator and applying it in this fashion so anyway that's it for now I'm Harry and I'll catch you guys later peace out